Hello Tubesters, it's Gav and welcome to another one of my videos. Yes, they're coming thick and fast at the moment. Uh, it's only, as I said to you guys before, it's only if I've got something to show and tell uh, that uh, you know I, I tend not to put them on just for the sake of it. Uh, there's usually a reason behind it. And obviously the reason today is we've got a couple more busts. I did say I was going to show you when they came in. Um, this is a bust from, well I've got two from a company called Mitch's military models it's based in the UK it's their own uh, stuff they do busts uh, they call these V busts because they're vaguely I believe in the shape of the V, v form I'll show you another one in a minute that looks a bit more I'll see this one's got the caress around it so uh, they're they're fairly simple busts in the sense that they don't obviously have the art they're, they're more the old school they don't have the arms you know we haven't got machine guns and muskets and <laughs> Cocker Spaniels over the shoulder. They're very the simple busts, and they're relatively inexpensive. Uh, I have done a video on these already, <laughs> and uh, various reasons I ended up taking it down. Uh, so uh, I'll, let's give you a quick look at these. Uh, they're coming like a butter color resin. Uh, the reason I've mentioned I've made the video before is I've been all around these already, and I can't see any blemishes apart from a tiny amount of flash here and there and where you've got different casting plugs uh, you'll have to remove those just normally and you know you, you, you're going to put probably uh, you know unless you're going to put put your your um, oh dowel or whatever you're going to use in the back there you know it's going to be underneath but you're, you're probably going to have to sand all this down again all safety requirements you should use it is resin and it doesn't do you any good if you breathe it in so I have mentioned how to do that before. Uh, this now, Mitch's military models. They do busts. Uh, they do 75 mil figures. I think 90 and 200 mil figures or 250, something like that. And the larger busts as well. As I say, it's all their own stuff, as far as I'm aware. Uh, there's a cut bit of um, mold stuff left being left behind there, but that's nothing to pick that out in that two seconds flat. Now, all these or the majority of these V busts they do a lot of military film uh, war films in other words so this is gladiator and it's the emperor commodus i saw this at telford last year and i, I was sorely tempted to get it then i don't know why i didn't but uh, never mind now this retails normally at 25 pound and they're selling them at the moment for 20 pound and you can get obviously maximus and that you get all the uh, Telly Savalas as Big Joe and Oddball and that you get Tom Cruise and his gang in um, <laughs> Top Gun, the original Top Guns, uh, Platoon, uh, you know, you, you name it, uh, Last Samurai, Last the Mohicans, all that type of thing. But what I was the reason I wanted to show them as well, once I'd actually had a look at them to make sure that you know they they were up to spec. Is I was thinking, all you guys that sometimes say, "Oh, I wouldn't mind having a go at that," you know, but I'm a bit worried for the price involved and for the simplicity of the sculpts, because all they are are torso and head. Uh, you know, you can't go wrong really to learn on. I think anyway. Uh, so I've had a, a look online to check which of the caresses, because he obviously Joaquin Phoenix is Commodore. Uh, Commodus wore loads of different caresses in the film and this is the one uh, that's black w with a purple hue to it and with a silver around the, the sides and he wears it in the arena uh, watching the you know when Maximus first does his fight against the chariots and all that type of stuff uh, but he also they obviously sprayed it over uh, and he also wears it in the end fight scene where it's all white I have just thought the art, the artisticness in me, which yes, all right, I don't have much of, <laughs> but I did think of doing the white one, and I still flaunt with the idea, or flirt with the idea even. Uh, but I'm just wondering on my shelf, am I going to? Is it going to look great all in white? I'm not that good yet. Uh, you know, can I make it look good with just the face, with a with a, with the face, you know, with the different colours more or less? So I'm probably going to be going for the black and purple, just because there's you know a bit of bit of variation in it. 
Commod Commodus's face, I'll leave it up to you guys if you think it looks like Commodus or not. When you go on their website and you see it sketched over with black, grey and white, uh, I think it really does. I actually went for this one originally because I thought it was quite a moody face. It, you know, it wasn't so much it was Commodus or in a film or anything. Uh, you know, it was just the fact that uh, I thought it was quite a moody, moody face when it's actually uh, in a, what they call a sketch. So uh, yeah, there we go. There's no, you know, again, you just have to clean, clean the bases up of the, you know, to to fit them and that. But uh, there's a tiny bit of mould line there going down the uh, scarf. But apart from that, and again, bit of bit of mould come away there. But that's nothing to pick out. Nice and crisp. Not not a pinhole air hole or anything in in sight. So that's Commodus. As I say, I bought him for twenty pounds. Uh, oh, by the way, it was free shipping as well. Uh, I don't think you can go wrong. As I say, as a, even if you go go and look at their their larger figures, which I think were retailing at around thirty pounds, I really don't think you can go wrong. Uh, this one, as far as I'm aware, it's from the American Revolution. Of course, it's a red coat. Uh, this is at the time the 17th Dragoons. Uh, I'm not 100% sure yet if if this is an officer's bullion or not. I, I'm not sure it is. I think they, they wore tufts. I painted these as a Perry 20 and went Perry's of these in 28 mil. Um, but I just thought again the face. I was drawn to the face. Faces on busts are everything really. It's what people want to see, you know. Um, everything else builds up to that in my, my opinion it's the face that counts but again fantastic face that is that's absolutely brilliant they were some of our only mounted troops uh, regular mounted troops that we had in the revolution those in the 15th dragoons I think uh, we relied uh, after that on uh, loyalist uh, um, like Tartan's Legion and things like that bit of side history for you. Uh, that's not a plug or anything, it's it's obviously the, the base of the the crest there, it just needs a bit of a, a, a sanding just to smooth it off. But I mean that face is fantastic. Really great. They do a Prussian next to it, there was a Prussian as well, but obviously I, I like my British Army stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to show it off. As I say, I'm not I'm not 100% sure yet if he's going to be, if he's not an officer, obviously he'll be done as a other rank. But again, not a bit of not a bit of blemish in that. Very slight mould line down there, just smooth. Although you'll be painting that, you know, darker colour in that. So yeah, guys, a quick quick video, or a lot quicker than the last one that I put up and then took down. Uh, Mitch's military models. If they let me put a. A link. I'm not sure if you can do outside links, but if you can, I'll be putting the link to, to their site. I have no connection to the company whatsoever. I bought these with my own money, uh, so the views are my own. Um, but, uh, you know, do, feel free, pop pop along, have, have a look. You know, that if you're thinking of getting into display figures, it's quite cost effective. And if you're doing busts, well, they are display figures, but I mean, if you, if you want to do the bust side of it, uh, you know, I, I think these are fantastic start ones. This was fifteen pound, by the way. Uh, normal twenty, uh, going for fifteen. So I don't, don't think you can go wrong with that. As I say, I've got free package. So uh, yeah, that's a bit. I'm starting to ramble now. <laughs> it wouldn't be a gab video if I didn't. Uh, just a quick thank you to all those guys that popped along to Frederick. I can't believe the amount of you that uh, stood up and helped a fellow YouTuber. Uh, as I say, he didn't ask for it. I just just saw him getting that close, and you know what it's like. Sometimes it's hard to toil away that last twenty or thirty, forty subs. So uh, thank you very much to all those guys that took the time out of the day to go along and help a, a fellow YouTuber. He, his stuff's really worth it. You've probably seen it by now, uh, and he's a he's a he's a cracking lad. So thank you very much to all you guys that did that. It's I you know I'm really blown away with the response to that. So thank you, guys. I'll catch you again on another video very soon, <laughs> maybe a few days this time. Uh, just a quick update, as you can hinted at, uh, I've got into the Pink Panther, so I'm now juggling the Pink Panther and the Chevrolet pickup truck, uh, slight size difference in both. The tank 
that's built. It's just waiting for. I've just I'm just got to get a bit of funds together. When you're spending <laughs> spending out on busts instead of the funds for your diorama, uh, I'm I'm just slightly behind on the. I'm making the diorama for that uh, Tyrin build, uh, but that's the figures bar one are done. Everything's done apart from making it. You know bits and pieces around the tank. So just uh, got to get that sorted. As I say, you'll see a couple of updates on the Pink Panther. Uh, I've got some Claymore castings. Uh, they're nearly, I was going to show them, but I've, I've got about three left to paint, and I think I might as well show them all in one go. I've got some Commission 18mm Napoleonic Austrian Lancers uh, to show as well. So it's all bubbling along. Oh, and I've got a shout out to do as well, uh, early part of the week. I've just got to get it all, all sorted. Uh, so hint hint it won't be a short one <laughs> right guys you look after yourselves we'll catch each other soon